Hey guys, this is Mark Yoki again. Welcome back to my channel. With me here, I have the latest Samsung Galaxy S22, which I bought two days ago. As usual, I'm excited because it has been a long time since we get a Snapdragon variant for the Samsung flagship in Malaysia. The last time we had a Snapdragon flagship was in 2014 for the Samsung Galaxy S5, which was powered by Snapdragon 801. So finally, this year the S22 lineup in Malaysia, we get the latest Snapdragon 8 Gen 1 4 nanometer processor. So I waited one month plus to get this baby here. Hope you guys are excited as I am. So let's get started. So this is a very compact and light box. Unfortunately, it means that we are not getting any charging brick here. To be honest, I don't really appreciate this kind of decision by brands like Samsung and Apple to get rid of the charging brick together with this phone. They cut costs but charge customer higher price, which is totally ridiculous. The one that I got is actually the white S22 with 256 gig of internal storage and 8 gig of RAM. And the official price is 3699 Ringgit Malaysia for this 256 gig variant. So nothing special after opening the box, the receipt and the SIM injector, the documentation and also a type C, the type C charging cable. So this is the real deal here. The white color S22, which is so compact in my hand. So this is my second compact flagship of the year. And too bad I already sold the Xiaomi 12 to make way for this S22. So holding this S22, it feels premium and solid. Corning Gorilla Victus Plus for the front and back of this S22. Flat screen and also flat back cover. Last year, Corning Gorilla Glass Victus was actually very tough. So actually, I have high expectation on this upgraded Victus Plus. And the frame is actually made of armored aluminum, which Samsung claims to have tougher drop and scratch resistance. But I won't be so sure about it based on my personal experience. So better use suitable case to protect the frame and the back cover if you worry about the frame being scratched. I have this silicone cover with strap for the S22. But to be honest, I'm not really fancy about this case, not my thing unfortunately, because I really like the strap to be honest. The camera bump is a very thin one, nothing new. It's like last year, S21. Triple camera setup, 50 megapixel main shooter with OIS, 10 megapixel telephoto with OIS and 3 times optical zoom. Maximum, you can zoom up to 30 times digitally. Lastly, it's a 12 megapixel ultra wide lens. So I've tried briefly the camera. Night mode is impressive without fail. For video recording, it can go up to 8K at 24 FPS, but I won't recommend you guys to use it because it stutters a lot. As for the display, I would say that Samsung makes the best AMOLED display on a smartphone. It doesn't disappoint, period. 6.1 inch dynamic AMOLED 2X display that supports variable refresh rate from 24 Hz up to 120 hertz so it's not ltpo unfortunately well perhaps next year we'll get ltpo on regular s series and the resolution is 1080p but make no mistake the colors are vibrant and sharp and the bezels are super duper thin look at the chin here wow lastly is the dual stereo speaker setup on this s22 and the speakers are powered by Dolby Atmos. so it's loud and the bass is strong definitely will blow you away. So let me know what you think. So there you go guys, my in-depth hands-on experience for the latest Samsung Galaxy S22. So sorry for the delay of this video as it took a long time for this phone to arrive me as I bought it personally. My full review soon, especially when the latest firmware update just got pushed to me yesterday which will remove the limitation on CPU and GPU during gameplay. So it will be interesting to see how does this perform after the update. Do let me know if you have any question. Until then, take care, stay safe and peace guys.